Hello, I'm Nathan Wall, and thanks for joining me for today's webcast. The 2011 baseball season will feature new bats in the hopes they speed up the game and make the experience safer for fans and players. However, not everyone agrees. I thought we had our bats right last year, uh, where they had toned them down some, but not to the point where they are now. Um, you know, and I don't think we need, we need to be like professional baseball. We don't have, we have pro prospects, but we, we don't have pro players on our team. And I think college baseball is a different game uh, than pro ball. The new bat will have a smaller sweet spot designed to reduce the speed at which a ball comes off the bat and limit the amount of home runs. The university is celebrating homecoming and 100 years in Fort Worth this weekend. Students are being treated to a free lunch on Sadler Lawn and will have the opportunity to get their picture taken with a Longhorn. Tim Kaysen, the Lunch on the Lawn director, says over 600 students participated last year. What we got going on today is TCU Homecoming's Lunch on the Lawn. It's a tra tradition every year to have a lunch on Sadler Lawn the week of homecoming. And today we're going to have free barbecue, Sweet Sammy's cookies. We're going to have some pictures with uh, Longhorn later because we're celebrating 100 years in Fort Worth and that's the official animal of the Fort Worth area. The Air Force football team is in town this weekend and they are quietly having a successful season. They have five wins on the season and their two losses are combined five points. The Falcons feature the nation's number one rushing attack and they look to give TCU's number one scoring defense a run for their money. Last year TCU defeated Air Force 20 to 17 in Colorado. Local businesses are joining the celebration of Purple Fridays. The Yo Frozen Yogurt Lounge is offering a 15% discount when customers wear purple to their store on Fridays. Associate Professor of Strategic Communication, Amiso George, is now a Public Relations Society of America fellow. George was one of 14 inductees honored in a ceremony in Washington, D.C. on October 16th. George has been teaching at the university for five years. That's all the news for today. Check back Monday for another webcast.